here we are at, what are we at? Vintage positions available, but that's not why we're here, because we don't actually want a job in the vintage. We're actually here because these lovely folk have got a bee nest in one of their houses in the chimney, apparently. So we're just gonna go and check out. It might not become anything, but you can see where bees decide to live sometimes. Well, you probably know yourselves. You've probably seen a bee in a chimney. Anyway, we're gonna go and see this young lass and see what she's got to say for herself. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, I lost it off and the excess from either side, I'm going to have to let go up for you. Do they, they're not inside? Well, I mean, she's fine a few, but she's not sure whether it's just when she opened the door. Yeah, has the chimney got like a bundle on it? It's no opening inside, so they've actually enclosed that wall. So, ah, okay. it's, it's pretty much only from the top. Yep. The so. so, it'll be interesting to see how far down they went. Yeah. That'll be the catch. <laughs> well, they only sort of, we only noticed them on Saturday, so... Right, yep, oh. so they're only fresh. The wife sort of said, she goes, I could hear humming yesterday, and then she came outside, and they were swarming at that stage. So. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So. No, so that's, well, I haven't been there long, that's a good start. Yeah, yeah. So. We might just go and get a ladder, that might be the first thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Now, they're smart. Uh, yeah, they're not real silly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're a few thousand years old, so they know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We had to go and get some resources, we had to get ourselves a ladder. We've broken out the old bee vac to <laughs> see whether we can resurrect that out of a, I don't know, anyway. We'll fine tune it a little bit more. We've got these blooming bees that just apparently only just arrived in this chimney, so hopefully they're not too established. We're gonna clamber up there on the ladder and um, yeah, just have a look at what sort of trouble we're in. I think we're in all sorts of trouble though. When we first got here, they gave us a nice coloured bright vest to keep us safe, but now we've been left to our own devices, they don't want to be held responsible, I don't think. Oh, be friendly. Oh, golly gosh. Let's see if we can get in trouble. Chicks, what are we doing? Crazy crap. <laughs> anyway, apparently they haven't been here very long, so we'll find out in a minute. It's just going to be very interesting how far down the hole they went. Risking life and limb for the girls. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, chicks, what have you done? Oh, well, they're just there, some of the things, so that might be all right. Just on the chimney stick. You reckon if we just pulled the whole chimney out, would that be crazy? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> this is going to stir them. Ow! Shit. No, it's only a nail. Where the hell are we going to lift that? Just like that. Will we ever get it back together? Hope they don't use this fire. <laughs> ah, <shit. laughs> no, they haven't been here that long, I don't think. Hang on.
I think I should have brought my Bree broom. <laughs> anyway, I should have come around here before. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come off it. What the hell? <laughs> well, that's a little bit ridiculous. Hang on, <laughs> that's not going to work either. Oops, sorry, cameraman. <laughs> Stupid thing. Just hold on there, I'll go and get my broom. <sighs> That's ridiculous, I've never seen a gym that you can't pull out before. <laughs> what are we doing, ladies? Sorry, people, turn the camera. Yeah, if I could prop that up there, maybe. I'll just prop that up there, maybe, out of the way a bit. Gonna work? Nah. Cool. Stupid bloody thing. Look at that. Well, yeah, it's gonna stay up there, isn't it? <laughs> right. Let's see. Rubber, are we in? <laughs> and they're all running straight back in there, aren't they? Yeah. appear to be running up instead of down so and they're going in this box pretty ferociously so I reckon she might be in there saying come get me come get me I've been trapped by wild polar bears <laughs> very unorthodox chimney sweeping but still it might work I think this is a bit unorthodox but it appears to me that it's working so there's more going in there than coming out, so that's a good start. That means that she's in there somewhere. Sorry, chicks. Don't cross anybody. They haven't really tried to attack us too much, so they're probably still in a bit like swarm mode, so which is good. They've unloaded all their all their honeycomb. So that's kind of cool. I'm not really sure about this chimney. That's a bit weird, ass, but still. quite successful I reckon that's gonna work out quite good she's obviously sitting just here somewhere which is good and the girls are all getting excited I was watching this dude who was doing a bit of bee research the other day and he was saying that um, really the field bees that go out and the ones you see in your garden are really only got that sort of towards their lifestyle so they've probably only got a, a week to live race well maybe eight to ten days so that's fascinating isn't it they just fly the little wings off at the end 
Now that's not something you don't see every day. A bush bee man miracle. <laughs> what would the odds of that happening? How cool is that? You didn't even have to suck the lips off. <laughs> well, I reckon, hopefully, they've all, all decided to settle down and either that or they've all completely buggered off. <laughs> We're going to find out in a minute. Oh, we, have, we have had a little bit. We almost had them. We've had a little bit of a mishap. <laughs> I was trying to work out how I was going to get the box down the bloody ladder with it full of bees. But now the bees have helped me out and they've got down the ladder all by themselves. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> that means we've got to come back again. So they're all the other side of the fence too. <sighs> Fuck it, <hell. laughs> I'll just move my ladder because then it, you know, it's bad luck to walk under a ladder. It's probably bad luck to catch a swarm of bees under one and all. So we'll just bugger this off out of the way. There you go. Where is everybody? Ah, oh, shit. Everybody's a little bit toey. Shit, what is the top bit? Right in the eye. Right in the eye. Here we go for a bit of excitement. Just for fun, they're on the other side of the fence too. So this is the fun part about swarms, of course. She's still able to fly. So, it's not ideal. stung if you're not careful. <laughs> there you go. We haven't had a queen do that before. Escape from our catching box. She's a bit determined this one I think. <laughs> Would we call this stage three or <laughs> what are we up to? Good God. I wonder if they've got a bin. If they've got a rubbish bin I'll put it on top of that so they can just stay there. I think they have seriously kind of what the hell's going on here. Maybe we'll have to come up with that one way entrance box. Oh dear. Oh, it's a discovery, isn't it? I think we'll have to give these girls a pair of tin snips so they can get through the fence. But anyway, I'm hoping the boss isn't over here. I think there's more going that way than this way. I can't see both sides of the fence. I guess this is their second or third home when we've stirred them up, so. Here we were, getting all excited. We thought we'd had a big victory. Woo! And now we're, woo! Get up. Tell you what, that's bees for you. They've got a mind of their own. Actually, they've got 60,000 minds of their own all working together. Little blighters. They're outsmarted by an insect. Typical, isn't it? Where are you, boss woman? Well, they're not overexcited here. This is just when we need that silly little box that I used to have. I might just go and have a bit of a wander around in the yard here at this house and see if I can find a little box. Then we'll sweep this little cluster in, and then we'll take them around and chuck them in the other box. And who knows, it might all come together. Oh, hell, we'll end up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> oh. uh. Well, I don't know, have they gone back down in the chimney? 
Someone's got to bite him. Ah, golly gosh. <laughs> anyway, we <laughs> do. You silly bloody bees. Anyway, so I reckon that shoebox might just do the trick. It's a fraction bigger than I wanted, but still. Oh yes, get this out of the way. Come on you guys. Just cooperate, just a little bit. That would be good. Just for the camera. Mate, you look good. Just give this box a tap and we're going to probably either end up worse off or better off, but we'll find out in a minute. Tis a puzzlement. <laughs> I don't know. She could be anywhere now. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to do something here, but oh, I don't know. This is the first time we've ever had a chimney escape bee. I wonder if she's still on the wing. Well, I suppose it could have been worse. <laughs> they might have buggered off completely. Anyway, here we go. I don't know. I think maybe she's in here. I don't know what to think anymore. Here I was thinking we're all bloody clever. Got them to run out of the chimney by themselves. You should have known it's never going to be that easy, shouldn't I? Oh, holy gosh. Come on. Play the game just a little bit. Do you reckon she'd be sitting there with a little scepter? You know, like holding it up going, Oi, you lot. What the hell happened to my throne? Twice in a row. She'd be really pissed, I think. She'd be not impressed at all. The ladies are all flying back in there going, well, I don't know who them humans. Them humans dressed in white suits keep coming and getting us. But they don't realise if we don't take them away, they're going to get covered in petrol and there'll be in all sorts of strife. Being that this lead is just a little bit flighty, we might just pop that over there, put our ladder back up here and put this poor people's house back together. And then, I don't know, we might make an executive decision to bugger off. I just come here up here to put the flu back on and I noticed there's quite a lot of bees hovering around the entrance point again. And I thought, oh well, hell maybe she's in there. So I've just scraped them into the shoebox, made a little opening and now they're running into the shoebox. So I don't know, either she's in there or someone important's in there anyway. Or she might be in this little plastic container here on my leg. I don't know yet. <laughs> They can don't think they want to be captured by the wild bush bee man. <laughs> they want to be free and live in a chimney. <laughs> silly bloody bees. <laughs> no, they're not. They're gorgeous, really. I don't know whether this is a silly idea. This is the moment when you let more bees go than you capture. So, <laughs> Maybe we'll tip her on the roof. I think we'll just tip her on here, and hopefully she won't fly straight away if it's in here. I don't think she's in there, but see, it was just another little cluster that was up there. They must send off a bit of a communal smell. Like, even without the queen. Sorry, but I think she's up there in the shoebox. And hopefully she's bloody worn out because she's had a few goes at getting away. I was watching these dudes getting some bloody mountain honey from these great big... I mean, they would have been three times as big as these little darlings. 
and apparently it's got some hallucinogenic product in it so I'm thinking we might have to go for a little bit of a travel over there and find out what plants they're sucking on. One bloke had a bit too much honey and he couldn't walk home so that's a bit of a worry. That's a whole different trip. I've heard of magic mushrooms but I've never heard of magic honey but there you go. You never know it's a small little world we live in. Anyway back up the ladder hopefully to get the girl out of a shoebox out of a chimney, into a box. Ah, very good I'll tell you what. This is well the queens didn't turn up today. We get less and less on the outside, and more and more on the inside, so it might be all good. It's only a beady weeny little hole that I made in the box. <laughs> little community TV station called Channel 44 down here in Adelaide, and they got shit on YouTube as well and it's our time, and I was on our time, I was getting interviewed. So if you're just wondering what my joke about the bloody bee time was, check me out and actually blow their ratings to bits for me, that'd be cool. <laughs> we'll put the link up in the descriptions. So just go over there, check out our time on channel 44, and you'll see the bush bee man in his, and I think I made it through a whole interview without swearing, so that's something different. We'll just lower the chimney back together. I hope I haven't completely ruined the house. At least it's the end of, at least it's the end of uh, winter, so if they come back to light the fire up next year, we'll be long since gone. What do you reckon, ladies? You want to go and find a nice, comfortable box where no one's going to pour petrol on your head? I reckon that's reasonably successful. I think, I think she's in here. But we'll find out when we get home. Well, we might not find out. <laughs> we'll have a look in a day or two and see what happens. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Golly gosh. <sighs> now normally I'd have a tarp on the back and they can all just get happily stored up in there, but we'll just have to drive slow. But yeah, Leslie, Lester Leslie drive back to the what the hell, we're gonna have to name this backyard something friggin' stupid this year. <laughs> that many, got that many bloody swarms in my backyard, I don't know what to do. Anyway, we've made it back home safe with the chimney bees. We're running out of places to go, but we're gonna go around here with the other girls. I think I'm gonna leave the door shut for a little while because she seems to be a little bit flighty, this queen. So, I don't know. This is in a paradise box, so it's got a vented bottom. So don't freak out that they're gonna suffocate. So they've actually got some air. If you're going to do it in a wooden box, make sure they can actually breathe. So you might want to put a mesh top on your box or something like that. So otherwise they'll get overheated and freak out and then they'll be dead and the whole exercise will be a hell of a waste of time. It's a swarming adventure. <sighs> yeah. Rightio, here we go. We won't be able to lock them in there anyway because they'll be like everywhere like usual. Anyway, we'll get organised and get something to happen. You ready? Hopefully they're worn out, <laughs> the adventurous little buggers. <sighs> we'll just let them calm down for a minute. I wonder if she'll just be dangling off the top. <gasps> no. <laughs> Stupid. Hopefully she didn't get out just then. You ready? Yeah. Here we go, the important girl of the of the hour. There you go. It's probably just as well someone buys shoes. I don't think they know what the hell happened. They've gone completely what the f We've been in a chimney, in a box, up on a fence. Now where are we? Look at them, they've just gone completely off the chart. Oh, heck. No, no. 